Ola Capricorn. It's Robin here with Aries Fire Tarot. Thanks so much for joining me today on the channel, you guys. I really appreciate the energy that you bring when you decide to stop and invest your time in one of my readings. I really appreciate it. So I'm getting ready to do July monthly reading for your sign right now based on the collective energy that I feel at the time of the reading. <clears throat> As always, this is going to be a general reading. So take what you feel like works for you. Hopefully the whole video resonates with you, but in the event that it doesn't, take what you think applies and leave the rest for another viewer. So I just showed you the Starman Tarot card deck, which is what I'll be using to do the anchor cards. And I'll be combining that with the Gilded Tarot to really get a deep, meaningful reading for you. So I hope you enjoy. Do feel free to comment through. Um, and remember to like, share, and subscribe, you guys. It's these small actions on your part that help me keep the channel going. So really appreciate that too. <clears throat> I'm going to do a deck cut of the Starman and I'm gonna take the first card from the cut and we'll start your reading with that one. Okay, so if this is the first time that you've seen this deck, this deck is inspired by and collaborated on by David Bowie, okay? And you can see his face in the moon. So this card can sometimes mean for people a period of anxiety. Some people go all day long without worrying and then at nighttime lay in their bed and start to stress out. Their mind runs on and on and on. The moon could mean many, many things. It can be an indication of needing to use your intuition a little bit better um, or just the things change under the moonlight, the serious moonlight. So, um, you're going to have to like lay some more cards down around the moon to see what it really has to say to you right now. Got the ace of cups here. Like this is just a beautiful, stunning artwork for this card and all the cards in this deck. So the universe does have a new beginning coming in for you, you know, um, related to something emotional. It could be something to do with your family. There could be a new family member being added, just something that is going to touch your heart because when we see the cups, it's related to your feelings and emotions, which are the same thing. Got the Prince of Pentacles here, you guys. So the Prince is <clears throat> the Knight. Got good news coming in when you see these cards, the Prince of Pentacles. Um, and he's sort of going about his business, not paying attention to what everybody else has to think. He's very focused on himself, even if it looks a little bit uncomfortable and bizarre in that card. see a lot of um, unspoken thoughts here in these cards for you. You could be keeping things close to your chest, not speaking out loud, maybe keeping in mind that sharing goals with others is not always the um, best thing to do because not everybody shares your passion or shares your vision. So you could be minding your own business. So we've got the three of pentacles here, which tells a story of building your own world, building your own financial freedom, you know, using your gift from the universe, your intelligence, your creativity to set yourself up for life. Very, very cool cards for you, Capricorn, right now. I'm just trying to figure out where I need to put this deck. And then we'll... I'm gonna go on a pause and aspect the camera down and then we'll do your reading from there, okay? Hold on. Okay, I'm here and I have your cards here. I have the Gilded Tarot deck in my hands. And let's see what the Starman Tarot is trying to tell us right now. I'm really interested in the Three of Pentacles for you. What, what is going on in your life? And you can see like, there's coins and, and gold and it's like geometric patterns. I think for some of you, you might want to start looking into sacred geometry 
or look at some of Tesla's knowledge on the numbers three, six, and nine. There could be really strong messages for you if that's the way you're kind of leaning with figuring out the universe. I think there's some really good information here um, related to the three of pentacles this has a really deep meaning for you guys got the ten of wands so whatever it is that you've been working on um, this is an indication that you you must not stop there is something big for you ahead and you can tell the way that this character is looking towards the goal and carrying a bit of a weight between his shoulders and he just continues to move on because he knows that there's something ahead for him. And please take notice that there is a moon up in the sky over top of this character and your anchor card here is the moon. So the moon has some secrets for you and it may be tied to sacred geometry and the, the learning related to 369. I want to see what's going on the on with the moon right now. If you guys think I'm talking crazy talk when I say stuff like that, um, maybe just do a little bit of research to see exactly what I mean by that. Like sometimes it's one person's word or a phrase that they say that can open up your eyes into a whole new level of consciousness. So if you're thinking, well, what is she even talking about? If you're the slightest bit intrigued, please do that. I mean, stuff like that is available on YouTube. And of course, like Wikipedia, blah, blah, blah. So like, do yourself a favor. So the moon card, the moon card is these thoughts that you're having when you're on your own. And what I'm seeing here with the hermit card being paired with the moon card is that this is very key to what it is that your your intentions are to just keep everything private and personal or maybe if you trust one person to not um, make fun of your goals or find some way to put you down spending time in solitude listening to your intuition with the moon you got the moon here There's a lot of intensity. There's a lot of growth available to you by staying in hermit mode and to continue on despite all else that is happening around you, what other people may be saying to try and discourage you. You are meant to stay in faith and your path may be one of solitude for the time being. So we've got the three of wands under the prince of pentacles. You definitely do have a ways to go here. You put a lot of work in here already, but I see that your indomitable, your will is strong with the 10 of wands. Like you have with every step that you've taken, you continue to grow stronger and your eye is constantly on the prize, constantly. So you are meant to continue. This is the, the confirmation from the universe that what it is that you're striving for is the right path. If you're having doubts, as some might under the moon, like in those midnight hours, you know, tossing and turning and waking up with the worries at three o'clock in the morning or whatever time, um, you're on the right path. This is your confirmation. This is your, your message from the universe. And to start studying in a different way. We've got the three of cups here. So we've got this aspected underneath the ace of cups, which is that new beginning we were talking about. That, you know, happy new beginning that is going to spark joy for you and probably endless other people around you. Um, you've got the lotus flower here blooming. Um, underneath the ace of cups and then you've got the three of cups which tells of celebration so your work may be hard right now your work may be lonely 
you may have quite a few steps left to take on your journey, but the payoff is here. The payoff is the Ace of Cups and the Three of Cups. I feel like we need to pull a couple more cards for you, Capricorn. I want to pull one right in the middle. I'm being asked to tell you here with the Prince of Pentacles to be listening to signs from the universe. This reading could be your sign. Your sign could come from doing deeper research into whatever it is that you're interested in. Sacred geometry. I'm seeing that some of you really need to go into sacred geometry. I don't know why, you guys. I'm getting this message that somebody needs to hear this or multiple people need to hear that. Um, could be the key to what it is that you're planning for your life here. Wow. Nine of Wands. The Nine of Wands, the, like, you are not to give up. This is like your divine soul path whatever it is that you're on so your steps matter every step that you take matters it's going to bring you closer and closer to your goal no matter how heavy this load gets you guys the nine of wands is saying don't give up this is your path some of you have decided this path before you appeared here on earth i want to see what's going on here i'm just going to pull a card We've got the king of wands. This guy is like nonstop energy. He is the achiever. He is the closer. He makes things happen. He continues to go on. Taking like, like small successful hops through life and conquering one thing at a time until he, he does become the king of his realm. This is where you guys are going. So... You know, you see the Nine of Wands. You see the Ten of Wands. You know, you've got wands here throughout your reading. And they all all these steps will lead you to the kingdom. Very, very interesting reading for you. I'm going to pull one more card for you, Capricorn. And you've got the Empress. So again, this is a new beginning. Could be childbirth for some of you and again the intuition using your intuition expanding your thoughts expanding your mind to where it needs to go if you're intuitively guided to go and watch something or research something listen to that voice you guys We've again got the moon in here you know and you've got the moon here the moon is taking you somewhere. It's like the moon is your talisman. I was going to stop, but I'm being asked to pull one more for you. So you've got the Knight of Pentacles, right? So there's good news coming in for you related to your quest. You guys are definitely on a quest right now, whether you know it or not, whether you've started it or not. There is a quest. This is part of your life journey. And somebody will be giving you this message. There is going to be some sort of mes message coming in. It's going to be something that sparks you. And you're going to keep going. Or you're going to start. Hmm. So definitely the message I'm getting in this reading for you guys is you just never know where your life is going to take you. Uh, you never know what is going to spark in your brain. Like what has been like dormant and then when you're ready you're going to get a call and it could be in tandem with somebody however for many of you i do see this as a solitary path for a while at least until you sort of hone whatever it is that you are meant to be practicing until perfect and honestly for some of you I just think this could be the end of a lot of um, IVF treatments some of you out there watching you could be have had a very long road to go 
um, to try and successfully become pregnant. And I see that being resolved for those of you out there that have been waiting for a long time because we've got the Ace of Cups and we've got the Empress here. And then something really joyful. So whatever your quest is, guys, if it's professional, personal, um, like if it's a religious quest, if it's a quest to um, become parents, <clears throat> keep going. Your finish line may not be immediately in front of you, but your finish line is in sight. And I think for many of you by the end of this year. So pretty intense reading, guys. I hope this resonated with you to some degree. Let me know in the comments. And I'm going to end the video there because uh, this one rung me out. I'm not going to lie. So it was a lot of emotion, a lot of intensity. So guys, take care of yourselves. We'll see you next time. Bye.